use precise terms from a revolutionary point of view. There is an objective and an ideology. There's been much confusion in the world uh, since the uh, 19, uh, 1900s, and uh, this confusion was spread and uh, unfortunately aided by the Soviet Union. That Marxism-Leninism was the only revolutionary ideology in the world. Of course, uh, as a young man, studying Marxism-Leninism just created a lot of confusion for me. The first aspect of the confusion was found in the fact that if one is a Marxist-Leninist, one must be atheist. Certainly, atheism in the African community, <laughs> they, won't even, you go, you tell them, they said, no, you know you believe in God. Don't you know you believe in God? You ain't no atheist. <laughs> you know, so there's just no way. And the second point was their limited view on nationalism and its role in struggle. These are my two conflicting, of course, there are many other, I'm just pointing out two. So since the 1960s, those of us who are conscious strugglers have been really examining this problem. Conscientiousism was written in 1964. It was called, subtitled, Philosophy for Decolonization. Therefore, the philosophy is giving. Our party has as its objective, I've never said anything since tonight, I've said Pan-Africanism is objective. Our ideology is encrumism to raism. Therefore, we do, and that, that I, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry I didn't know, but anybody who's familiar with our party knows that our party's ideology is encrumism to raism. Our objective is Pan-Africanism. Therefore, it's the thoughts and actions of encrumism to raism, which represents all the struggles of Africans who came before, Cabral, all the others, leading us to Pan-Africanism. So we do have this problem solved for our party. We agree with you. There is much confusion around Pan-Africanism, and most Pan-Africanists do not have an ideology. Some try to use Marx and Leninism to get them to Pan-Africanism, and that caused a lot of confusion. I just gave two examples, but our party has no confusion here. And Krumism Tourism is our ideology leading us to Pan-Africanism.